What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? Now, look, this is another thing y'all can do with the EIN. Once y'all get the EIN, you can get a job as well. Um, I got a brother that go by the name William. He went through me and everything like that. He set up his credit profile, and after he set it up, he wants to go get a job at a debt relief uh, company or something like that. And the EIN help you in many different categories because, like, say if you was on child support, say if you had criminal convictions, it would prevent them potential employees from seeing that information. And also, when you when they file for taxes, you also can get a tax returns uh, directly from your EIN. So the thing about it, um, if a person who was a felon or something like that wanted a job at Chase, he can get it. Or if he wanted a job at the Apple store and his background maybe prevent him from getting a job, he can get a job at Chase. He can get a job at corporate downtown and still be a felon. You know, don't limit your life because of um, a status that they put on you. You know, they putting all these labels on people, calling them felons, calling them, you know, um, unworthy of, you know, a second chance. That's why I try to find these loop loopholes that people can uh, live by, you know. Um, and also, there's no federal or state statute that prevents an individual from using the EIN number, whether it's personal or business. If it is a federal statute, post it below and I challenge it. There is no federal statute that prevents the person from using the EIN for personal use. Um, a lot of people who bring that up uh, really don't understand the law because anytime it's enacted by legislation, that's when I tell you guys you can't use it, right? Because remember, the EIN is the government number, but it doesn't prevent you from a lot of things. So a lot of these legal loopholes that people need to hop on, you know, especially if you have the disadvantages today in society. So, yeah, you can do anything with it. And it helps you to get away from child support or if you had child support and you got a bank account in your EIN and you're getting payments from your EIN. So it won't connect the same way. So every time the court see your income, they're like, he have no income coming in. Only thing reporting is your EIN income. You feel me? How it separates like that. So yes, anybody can get a, a job with an EIN number and they have to run the credit from that EIN. So if you establish a personal credit profile from the EIN and you apply for a job, you can use that. And when they withhead, when they take out taxes, it'll be only from the employment taxes. And then even if you opt to get the, um, even if you opt to get tax exempt, it's a way you can do that, but I prefer you guys to pay taxes, especially using that straw man number and you ain't using your real social, you feel me? So pay taxes, but also understand that you ain't got to worry about the other things that come with it. So I'm out.